Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are back with another video on CSS course for beginners. This is the last video in the set. In our previous video, we have seen about the cursors and other concepts of CSS. In this video, we want to see about the positioning in CSS. What are the positioning values in CSS that are there? Here we have five positioning values in CSS. The first one is the relative positioning, absolute positioning, fixed positioning static positioning sticky positioning first position that is a relative positioning it is going to check whether any of the element is present before it and after it and relative to that particular element it is going to place itself in the second one that is the absolute positioning wherever you are going to give the place for example if you have given 20 pixels and 30 pixels so 20 pixels are from the left and 30 pixels from the top it is just going to adjust itself and it is going to position itself in the exact position where you have added it so that is the next is a fixed it is not going to move at all even if you are going to scroll your page then you have a static positioning which is going to be static sticky it is going to get back to that particular position and it is going to stick wherever it is let us see this in visual studio code for better understanding this is our html page and here we have our styles.css with this we are going to also open the preview tab i'm going to write the basic html code once the html code is done this document i'll just rename it as a positioning document or just positions and we also need to link the CSS style sheet. Once it's done, I'm going to create a division here. Division. And this for this division, I'll just give a class as a relative. And for this class, we are going to see the relative position. This class exhibits relative positioning. Done. So here we have a class so now and with that i'll also give certain borders for it border one pixel solid or four pixels solid red save this and in this uh, css you also have something called as dimensions where you can give the width height maximum width maximum height and maximum minimum width and minimum height for a particular division so i'll just give the height and width here height i'll just give it as a 500 pixels and width will be 250 pixels that's enough so this is our relative positioning with this i'll also give the position position should always be relative and wherever you want to adjust your position if you want to give a top from top how many pixels it should be so you can see that from top it is 50 pixels and then next you have from left i just give it about 25 pixels from the left so this is how you can add your content relatively so next you have absolute positioning I'll just copy this and i'll paste it over here i'll change it as absolute now since I have the class here, I'll be deleting this division and I'll just give it as class, the class name that is relative. I'll just copy it. I'll give you. So this is a relative. Now we can see that the absolute is here somewhere. Now once I have that absolute, I'll also style for absolute and I'll give the same styling for it. I'll copy it. I'll paste it over here but instead of red I'm just going to exhibit as blue say this and the position here also you need to change because it is absolute so this is absolute so now you can see that since this particular thing is there here so that's the reason this is being moved a bit below that particular position now if I'm going to add for example, I'll just change this to 250 pixels. 250 pixels. And this also, I'll change it to 50. 
and this to 250, 25 pieces. Now we can see that there is some difference from this relative to this absolute. It is not in that particular fixed position itself. So now, if it's respect to this, it has been moved a bit 50 pixels from here and 25 pixels inside, right? So this is how your relative and absolute positioning are going to work. I'll just, we'll get back to this relative and absolute positioning again. Previous to that, we're just going to see about the static, sticky, and the other. I'll just be creating another division. Static is nothing but the default setting. Class, static, this is static division. And again here, if I'm gonna give dot static, paste it, instead of relative, I just give it as static. So this is static. It is not going to take this top and left, even if you're going to give. So this is static. You give it as 25 pixels of the width. I'll just increase the width to about 450 pixels. And I'll give background color to this. Okay. So this is our static. And for this, I'll give the background color as This relative, I'll change it to yellow. Okay. Next we have is sticky. Save it. So once you have the sticky positioning, what it is going to do? So if, for example, if you want to highlight something, if you want to stick something to a particular position, then you can use this as sticky. Let's see here. I'll just give the background color green. Save it now. And you need to specify certain position where it has to stick. From the top, it should be about 100 pixels. And yeah, that's it. And inside this HTML, what I'm going to do is I'll just add certain paragraphs here. Say, for example, dummy para. Save it and the same thing I'll just copy. Paste, 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 paste. Okay, save it. Now, once when you're going to scroll this, this static division that is there, it will be in the same position as it is going to scroll up as in when you're going to scroll your screen. So, once when you're going to scroll this screen, and if you do have some other paragraphs below your sticky position as well for example like this you have some paragraphs above and some paragraphs below okay so you have the scrolling thing again now again when you're going to scroll it is just going to stick itself at the hundred position from the top it is going to stick itself for hundred now it is not sticking why because we have not given the position here so once when you're going to give the position as sticky, it is going to stick itself. Now just check this out. From 100 pixels from the top, it is going to stick itself at that very particular position. And once when you're going to scroll down again, and when that particular content arrives, it is just going to scroll itself back. So this is, the, this is how sticky works in CSS. And this is static. The next one is a fixed. Now let us see the fixed position. Add a division class fixed. This is fixed. And I'll add dot fixed background color aqua. And from the bottom, it should be add zero pixels. From the right as well. I'll just add it at zero pixels and the position is see now we can see this is fixed here and even if you're going to scroll your page it is not going to move you can ask me what is the difference between the static and fixed now we can see when you're going to scroll your page the static moves whereas your fixed doesn't move anywhere 
So these are the positions that are there in CSS. I'll just add these as well, that is the relative and the absolute also, so that it is easily understandable. And let us discuss some other contents about this relative and absolute, why we are going to need that. Another thing. So first of all, let us see this in the live server. Now you can see here the first one is absolute, the second one is relative here back, third one is the static. Next, you have this sticky position, and here you have your fixed position. So this is how these positions exhibit themselves in CSS. Now we are just going to discuss one more thing about this static and uh, about this relative and absolute positioning, like why they are used actually, like and which one to use at what time to use, right? Always remember whenever you have two divisions, one division without and inside another division. So, for example, division. This is division one. And inside this particular division itself, you have created another division. And for that division, this is division two. And also here I'll give a class. Class div a or div 1 and inside that same class I'll give it as div 2 this particular hat nobody is gonna tell you just keep this in mind whenever you're going to style it you'll be styling it with the class name div 1 which will be border four pixels solid red save it and i'll make this a square so i'll be adding certain height and width height is equals to 400 pixels and width also is equals to 400 pixels so this is one particular square next i'm going to use the div 2 div 2 border two pixels solid blue width of this will be 200 pixels and height of it will be 200 pixels so this is one division inside another division now, whenever you're styling, if you want this particular division outside of this division, then you're going to give both the divisions as a relative. Let us see position relative. And this as well, you're going to give the position as a relative. From the top, I don't want anything from the top. But as we are just going to move the second one from top. I want it at 200 pixels or a little down. It is 400 pixels, let's say. And from the left, I want it about 200 pixels. And if you're going to add the same styling for this as well, Now you can see both the divisions have moved down. Now we can see both the divisions have moved down. In with respect to this particular division, this division all has also moved down. Whereas when you are going to give this one as absolute, the first one as absolute, and the second one as relative. Both are going to be at its particular, this is going to be at its particular position, whereas this is going to come a bit and it will occupy whatever position what we have given. Now imagine that if you want this particular division inside this itself, then you need to always make the division 1 as a relative and the division 2 as absolute.
Now you can see you have one division inside another division. And now when you are going to give the position for this top, now it will be in the same place. So this is how it is going to adjust itself in this particular division. Whenever you are having multiple divisions, one division inside another division, make sure that all the divisions which are above will be relative and all and the division, only division that is in the at the last or inside the frame one inside another, that division will be always made as absolute. You cannot make the divisions, one division inside and you cannot make the first division and the second division both as absolute absolute. It is going to give you a different, completely different positioning. When you want to make one division, when you want to add one division into another, remember that the divisions which are above the last division should always be relative and the innermost division should be absolute. So this is all for today's video. Meet you again with new concepts of CS in the other videos. Until then, stay tuned and keep learning. Bye.